Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here. I just wanted to do a really quick uh, video for you guys. For anyone that is working right now for free and trying to, you know, make some extra money on the side maybe, or you're trying to uh, go from being, you know, a hobbyist into a, an actual working professional and you want to go from doing magic for free at the local restaurant to actually getting paid by the restaurant to have you there, this is just a really quick uh, video giving you guys some advice on how you can do that. So the really difficult thing for transitioning from working for free to being a paid performer is that you've already set your value you've already set your value in their mind so uh, if you were to start saying you know I kind of want you to pay me fifty dollars an hour they're gonna be like well you know the product that you're giving us isn't changing any I mean you're still doing the same thing but we weren't paying you before but now you're expecting us to pay you why is that so what you need to do is you need to essentially uh, explain the amount of value that you'd be providing for them and make it so so that they know that they can't really afford to lose you and that essentially you're going to be going somewhere that's going to be paying you because you are now in demand so you want to seem in demand so that they don't want to share you with their competitors they want to keep you where they are so for example you might say something like this you know get them in let them know that you're you know you really love what you do and you can ask them if they're really pleased with your performance and if they love what you're doing for the restaurant chances are they're probably going to say yes what you can then say is you know so my schedule is actually getting more and more busy and i'm actually uh performing magic outside of the restaurant at other locations and these locations uh you know they want to hire me for their events i really love working here and i'd really hate to not have to work here anymore but Financially, it just doesn't make sense for me to stay here when other, you know, venues are paying me for my services. So I was wondering if you'd be interested or open to negotiating uh, maybe something we can both agree upon so that I can stay here because I really do want to stay. I really enjoy what I'm doing here. This way, it makes it look like you're not just after the money. You do really enjoy, you know, working at the restaurant. And I really hope you do enjoy working there. You shouldn't be working at the restaurant even if they're paying you and you hate it because you're gonna get burned out very quickly. Trust me from personal experience on that one, uh, but I digress. What you should do is you should explain to them that uh, you really do enjoy working there and that you don't want to leave, but uh, you know, financially it just doesn't make sense for you to stay. Try to negotiate with them. One of two things is gonna happen. Either they're gonna be open to negotiating something with you, in which case, congratulations, now you're getting paid even if it's only a little bit, and even if they're only supplementing you meals and giving you a small paycheck and like allowing you to keep the tips, like maybe they're saying, you know, we'll pay you hourly, like minimum wage is like 10.50, so we'll pay you 10.50 an hour for the three hours that you're here, plus we'll give you a free meal, plus you can keep your tips. That's at least something, and that's better than, you know, just working for free at the restaurant. Uh, so, you know, that's best case scenario, you negotiate something with them. Worst case scenario is to say, uh, oh, you know, we can't really, it's not really in our budget and we don't really want to do that and blah, blah, blah. So what you would do then is you would say, okay, well, I'm going to let you know that uh, I'll continue working here for as long as I can, but when something else comes up, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, stop performing here. And you can let them know there's already other places that are looking at you. At that point, you can keep doing the thing that you're already doing and then I would recommend actually looking for something outside. That way, when you find something better, you can leave this uh, restaurant that you're working at and go work at the new one. Keep in mind, even though you're not making direct money at the restaurant that you're working at, you are still having an opportunity to interact with clients, or should I say potential clients, uh, the guests that are at the restaurant, you're handing out business cards, uh, you might get booked you know, to do private events for those people. So it might not be worth it to just give up on it completely. Uh, but having said that, if you really do, you know, <laughs> If it really is, you know, affecting you financially, like, you know, you could be out doing things Thursday evenings, but instead you're not doing those things because the restaurant has you there and you're only making like $20 in tips by the end of the night. And, uh, you know, you could be picking up extra hours at your, pro at your you know, at your part-time job or whatever. It makes more sense for you to do what's in your best financial interest. The restaurant has a good thing going because, you know, they're getting the free entertainment. Um, there is a nice compromise there where you can say, you know, I can't really do it for free anymore, but I also don't want to like charge you, you know, my premium rates either since, you know, we have this good relationship. I just want to 
you know, have a compromise with you and come up with something that I think is fair for the both of us. And nine times out of 10, if they really truly do respect you, they'll understand that. If they don't respect you and they were just kind of using you because you're free entertainment and they were just like, no, we don't want to pay you. Like I said, it might not be the best business for you to be working for anyway and looking for something else might be more beneficial for you in both the short term and the long term. Uh, because like I said, who knows, you might find a restaurant that is willing to pay you what you're looking for and you'll also enjoy working for that person because they will value you and they will really enjoy having you there and they don't mind paying you what you feel you are worth. So I hope this uh, advice kind of helps. So uh, really quick, moral of the story is don't drop the restaurant like a, like a hot potato if they say that they don't want you. Uh, just because even though you're working there for free and you're getting tips, you could still be handing out business cards and things. But in the meantime, if it's clearly obvious to you that negotiations are not on the table, at least for now, I would suggest looking elsewhere for something that will pay you. And then once you find that thing that will pay you, then you can leave this restaurant and go to that one. And then, you know, don't, don't give them empty threats. Don't just say, you know, well, I'm going to leave then later tater, but then like, don't leave. Like, don't do that. Like you should actually go and pursue something that is going to be more beneficial and uh, better for your time. But again, at the same time, you don't want to give up the fact that you're performing for people, you're handing out business cards and all that stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you have any questions or any advice for your, uh, you know, for your fellow magicians here, that things that have worked for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and share those thoughts. I'd love to read them. Don't forget to subscribe and share all of my videos and my channel with your friends. Uh, I hear all the time people telling me that they love my channel and it's super, you know, underrated. And I only got like 3,000 subscribers, and they're asking why do you only have 3,000 subs? Honestly, it's just because my videos aren't you know, getting the exposure that uh, they could be. And part of the reason is probably the algorithm and I'm not uploading as much as I should be. Uh, but if you guys love these videos and you have people, uh, friends, fellow magicians, people that are interested in the kind of stuff that I talk about, please make sure that you share those videos with them. Anyways, thank you so much everyone. See you next time.